Another issue, the Ferrari mirrors that we saw on the halo. What's your take on that? Uh, well, it was entirely predictable. Uh, and it's, <clears throat> you could almost say maybe Ferrari were you know, pushing their luck and saying, well, you've released these very vague regulations. We will go and put something on. And if it wasn't Ferrari, it would be another team. Um, so regulations uh, were announced before the race that you could have mirrors mounted to the halo. Now, the thinking here is that the, the mounts that you would normally have interrupt the driver's vision. And mm. you actually saw some of the early halo onboard footage. And the thing you realize is that the, the mirror mounts actually cut out more visibility than the halo did. So mounting it above made lots of sense. But the regulations were too woolly, they weren't specific enough, and Ferrari were able to add a winglet, which then had a tiny little metal strut supporting the mirror. And their argument is that was there to steady the mirror. Mm -hmm. Of course, I mean, it's fooling no one. It didn't fool Charlie Whiting. But the, because the regulations were vague, Ferrari were allowed to run them for this weekend. There's no question of it being illegal and Ferrari being let off. It's just a grey area of the rules that's being clarified now. So Ferrari will probably still run the halo-mounted mirror but without the extra winglet coming out over the top. And we, we saw Renault testing um, a much more uh, legal, albeit very aerodynamic solution during free practice as well. I need to put your fertile brain to work here, Scarbs, because I ran around quite a lot of people in Barcelona, the concept, our concept of having a rearward facing camera and the display mm -hmm. on the halo to solve all these vision problems. And they said, oh yeah, good idea, but what are you gonna do about all the crud that builds up on the lens after three laps? the tyre rubbish and everything else. So we need a lens cleaning device designed well, they, by you. They, they, uh, they have it already on the uh, FOM Yeah, camera. but does it work that well? Because whenever they're cleaning it, they sort of cut away and you never really well, know they, how it's strange, they seem to, to switch to it when well, it's dirty, then turn it on. But yeah. you have to remember, this is a rear-facing camera. Yeah. So in theory, it should okay. have a lot less junk. Well, we still think that's the best solution, it. right? And yeah, it's the best solution. And the driver is free to you know, uh, clean it whenever they need to. So I think you know, there's still uh, a bit of mileage.